Hello, everybody. Here we are on the 12th of July. I can't believe I'm saying that. The 12th of July, and I'm here with a very good friend and a brother um, who I've met probably three years ago now, Collins Manna. Now, as you can look on the screen, you do not see my partner in crime, which is Chris, Captain Chris Johnson. He's uh, with his son. They're doing things. He'll be back. He'll be back tomorrow, by the way. Oh, and, and by the way, we're shining a light on Mr. Collins today. Tomorrow we'll be shining a light on Dan Street. A lot of you don't know Dan before I'm passing him what he did. He had a pretty exciting, pretty exciting thing going on in his life, uh, his career and all that. <clears throat> anyway, so a couple things I wanted to say. I, I know I'm very I, I couldn't be more proud about being on passive as I am now because of the people I'm talking to, how everybody's sticking together, how, it, look, it's not normal, okay? Uh, we're not in something normal. It's not normal. And to see people hold together, and I think well, I think the magic of on passive, I don't think so. I know this is the magic. It's because we were brought together by a bunch of people that have faith, people that have uh, believe in something better, uh, positive. Uh, they're not glasses half empty. Almost everybody I meet in the past, now different levels, but they're all believing that anything's possible. And with Unpassive, that's why we're here. It's not an accident. I don't care who you are. I don't care what country you're from, whatever. Oh, I'm lucky. No, no, no. You're here because you said yes. Trust me. Just as many said, if not more, said no. They're not here. Just the way it is. The life goes on. Now, I do want to say, and I've said this, I'm telling everybody my opinion. Family members and friends that told you no, they're coming. So let it go. Don't bug them. People say, what do I say to somebody if they didn't, they didn't, migrate yet don't say anything here's what i say when things get up and, there, and there's money there and there's bonuses and there's uh people get paid you know according to the volume when we get moving some of the people that have migrated but they're just kind of sitting there i believe they're going to see a few dollars in their wallet that's going to spark people to either go or not go. But truthfully, I tell people, I'm not trying to talk anybody into anything. You share it, they either believe or they don't. Just like when Ash comes on. Yes, he's going through a lot of crap. We know it. He said it. I knew it before he said it. You just know. If you're if you're plugged in and you watch on passive, you see this, and then you, you see where it kind of, we knew in September, the things didn't go right. Something is not right. And it's, it's, it's not, you, you don't have to be 2020 vision. Everybody can see it. He came out and said what he can say. Now, some people say, well, he didn't say this and he didn't say that and he didn't listen to me. It's a multi billion dollar company. The best thing we could do is hear about it when it happens. That's the point about believing and having faith. If you have to hear everything as it goes, trust me, if you heard everything for the last four or five years, most of us wouldn't be here. You don't do that. You don't tell them the ups and downs, the ups and downs. You love your phone. Would you have loved it if you were in the journey while they were making it? No. Not as much until the, the final result. Final result, you go, oh, that's beautiful. And that's what everybody sees. On Passive's journey, the windows were open. Everybody watched it happen. And they weren't used to being in a journey of a company. It's not easy. You can't expect something that's going to rock your world, and I mean hundreds of thousands of people, and think it's going to be easy. It's going to be tough. And what did I say? Sometimes you got to hit rock bottom to bounce back up higher. And that's what he said. And he prays for God to guide him. Sometimes you come up to a door, you say, it opens, you say, oh my God, this is magnificent. 
and that door slams in his face. <clears throat> Does he go, oh, okay, I quit? No. He has faith that what he's doing and his belief and his, his drive and following God, it's just how he talks that a new door will open. And not only does a new door open, it's bigger and better than the door that closed. And I think whatever's going on now, my personal opinion, what he knows, what he knows that we don't know is bigger and better than anything we could have imagined. Sorry, I've never seen him more upbeat. Yeah, he has ups and downs. Let's remember something, Colin said it today. He's human. He's human. He doesn't walk on water. He's an extraordinary human, but he's human. But what he's doing for all of us and the and the chance, the potential of up living a life that we can only dream of, come on. I'm leaving. Well, go ahead. What are you going to do? I'm going to go to the next shiny object and spend four or $500 a month until I die. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. There's nothing out there. Nothing's built for people. You have to have special skills. Ask told you. When he first got in and he learned things, he sent out 80 million emails a day. I didn't send out 80 million emails in my whole life. I didn't send out a million. And now he's telling you, I got a better way, and it's AI, and it's, it's clean, ethical AI traffic. He said, like the world's never seen. Do I believe that? Yes, because he said it. So let's have the faith. He's going to tell you as it happens. He said, mistakes were made. Him? Oh, the mistake? Yeah, of course. Why? Building something that you we've never seen. And he decided, to, and I'm glad, don't, don't show your cards until you, sh you have that royal flush. You don't show an ace and then a king. No. Boom. When you got it, show it, it's over. Because remember, there's more people and organizations or whatever you want to call it that don't want us to succeed than there probably is that want us to succeed. But that's okay. If you keep things close to the vest, you work on what you have. He has a dream. He has a a vision, the vision is coming to reality. Let's remember something. Whatever happened two or three months ago when he first started talking about things are happening, it's already been in play. This didn't happen overnight. He didn't say it that day and say, hey, we're starting from scratch. I got people going, well, I guess nothing's going to happen for you know, a year. What? Come on. Just, just hold on. When you let your mind wander, the, 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 the news is we're usually wrong. We usually think the worst case scenario, trust me, it's going to be fine. We're going to do good. We're in a good place. We're surrounded by great people. Ass has got a hold of the ship. He's going the direction we need to go. All we have to do is smile and take care of each other, really. So right now, I want to turn this over to what this is really about. It's about Mr. Collins Manley. He's going to give us a story about himself before, during, whatever. Uh, I'm passive. And like I said, I met him three years ago, and he's an unbelievable, unbelievable guy. He's worked with me during the days of when are we going to launch? Oh, my God. Uh, there was other people involved. We had other people. Uh, Lynn Nakamoto I had a, a key role in there. And it, it, it was it, – but it – it all fell into place like you couldn't have pitched, you couldn't have done it any better. And that, I believe, is also in uh, divine intervention. Anyway, Mr. Collins, it's all yours. I'm done, believe it or not. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> Thank you, Madi. Thank you for, for inviting me. I'm so grateful and blessed to, to be here today. Uh, so, yes, Madi, like you said, I just want to greet all the, the founded, founding member and affiliate who are joining and those who will watch after this i hope will inspire you and will encourage you or maybe what i will share will also encourage others those who will watch in the future so as maddie said you know on passive was something that is divine that's how i see it is divine 
because something like this will never happen again. We don't think it will ever happen. And there's a reason why a lot of people say, but how far or how are you sure that it will never happen again? The reason I always say it is because nobody will create a company, open it for people like you and I to come for Peanut, an IT company of this magnitude, and we join in for Peanut. It will never happen. Yes, they can build it. They can do it, but it will never reach people like us. It will go for the rich and those who are the mighty. But people like us, it will, it will be difficult for us to even see it. So just want to share my story and my journey on Passive. So I would say on Passive met me at 2020. I joined on Passive June 2020. And how do I really come about on Passive? You know, I started thinking in my work life that it is difficult for you to be able to succeed in life with your nine to five job. So you do nine to five every day, you come back, you look at everything, your money is just going for bills and bills and bills. And when you start to think about those who are successful people, they didn't depend on their nine to five jobs, they diversify to be able to do stuff. Those who always succeed in life, you ask them, are you relying on your nine to five jobs? They'll tell you no, they always make some money and then they try to invest in something or diversify to make sure there is extra stream of income coming and i was looking for that thing so i started trading during the covid days you know when covid started you know covid hit hard and a lot of place shut down and i said no oh, let me do some trading i did trading and i wasn't trading in forex i did a little bit of forex move a little bit not crypto but into commodity and it company like fuzin Nas nasdaq S&P 500 and all of those. So I trade on all of that gold, crude oil, made some money, lost some. You know, the day I lost, I said, wow, this is really hard. But I know I will not give up because I always said, the day you give up, that's the day you fail. I said, I will not give up. So I call a friend who introduced me into all of that, the trading stuff. I said, wow, I've just lost some money. And then the company I used to use to trade with, they said that they will not want to work again, do business with any other um, those who are trading in the United Kingdom. Why? Because at that time, UK is leaving the European Union and that company was a European Union, was within the EU. So they said they don't know how the taxation. So they wrote all of us and they said they will shut down our platform. I said, fair enough. So I pull out what I have and I know that platform is shut. But again, to go to different platform. I need to sit and think twice if it's a legitimate platform for you to start doing your trading. Then this guy called me, a friend from UK, uh, from, from US, called me because he was the one who introduced me into trading and he used to do site, other site stuff. Some of them, I said, no, I don't like it. He said, Colin, there is something here. I said, what? He said, go founder. I said, are you sure it's not a trading platform? He said, no. I said, so what is it all about? He said, I don't know, but I want you to take a look for yourself so he sent me the link you know it was around january no march and i said off oh, i'll take a look after the next day he called me have you taken a look i said no i don't really know what you're sharing with me can you please explain so he disappeared again for two more he said if, if you don't want to take a look it's, it's it's just you there's nothing i can do because i don't really know how to explain it someone introduced me as well so i sat there and i was just like thinking two months three months june then I say, you know what, let me just go and click on it and read it myself because I've been waiting for this person and I think like, hey, it's just a joke. He will never tell me because that's how it is. He's a very good guy. Very sweet guy that if you were thinking, he is that type of guy making a big mistake. He said, I've been you. God gave you a brain. You take it and look it for yourself. If you like it, go, go ahead. If you don't like it, God bless you. That's what he always say. So I, I took it that June. June 16, 2020, I looked at it, read it, because when I go sometimes, I don't look at the negative, like people go and Google. No, I didn't, I didn't go to Google, like to Google what is all about on passive. I look at the link. I said, all right, this is good. I took the word go founder. I said, I want to search only for the positive things. When I put it, it came on go founder on passive. So I said, okay, this is a sign. Let me read. I stumbled on that side. Immediately, I called him. 
and I said, do you know what you've just shared with me? Though at that time it was internet marketing a solution, but I deep down and I was just looking at, you know, I did my own research, reading what they've put on that side. I said, oh my God, this is massive than the internet marketing solution. I called him, I said, do you know what you just shared with me? He said, no. So he, you know, at that time, he even forgot that you shared something with me because we didn't talk again for <laughs> three months. So I called him, I said, do you know what you've shared? He said, what? I shared a lot of things with you. So tell me. I said, the co-founder, I said, oh, is it now you are taking a look? I said, yes, I just look at that side. It is massive than what you think. He said, what is there? I said, this is something, the way I'm saying it is an IT company in the making. He said, no, I thought they would just make money now. I said, no, this will be a long-term thing. But if they build what I'm saying, it will be one of the biggest IT company mankind have ever seen. If they put this together, he said, Collins, I'm not an IT person, so how will I even know this? So I start to share with others, you know. Oh, my, buddy, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. So I start to share with others. we talking, and then I took it to some of my colleagues at work. So they said, Collins, this is not possible. This would take 10 years. Some of them said 10 years. Some of them said 15 years. He said, what I'm seeing to put all of this together, I said, but if this can take 15 years, it means it's something good and I'm happy to wait. So I signed up before even looking at it more. I've never attended any meeting, but I was just talking to other IT colleagues. We're looking at it. Some of them said, Collins, this, this can never happen. Some said, no, even if it happens, it will take time. Some of them signed up. Some of them said, no, they scared. They said, this will never happen. Nobody can put this together. I said, well, if someone can think it, someone can do it. Because the fact that they have think about it, somebody, I didn't know who is Mr. Ash. At that time, I've not even looked at it. I was just looking at it, and I'm just happy about what I'm seeing. Then I go went to the Go founder side. I said, wow, this application is good. Now I'm already in, signed the NDA. Then started talking to others. And I, you know, when I was talking to others, sharing, I wasn't like, I just said, come in. This is something that will change your life. It will take time, but just stick in. They said, we've missed a lot. But so some of them were asking, what is it all about? I said, it will be massive than Google, than Amazon. So I was just saying, didn't even know. I just like, what I'm saying, they're just building several applications in one place. And it's something like a single sign on in one place because the integration is there. There was no product at that time, but I can just visualize it, what they are trying to do from inside. Then I attended a meeting. They said, oh, there is a meeting with Mr. Ash. That was the first time I saw Mr. Ash after two months because I was quite busy. I listened to him. I said, this is massive. Down with the only thing I listened, he said, I will take you to a place where you, 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 you will never, ever regret. I want to take you to the top. So there was no fancy word. There was no convincing, like he's trying to convince somebody, but he is telling you what is to come. And I said, wow, this is really good. This is really great. So I was just there listening, listening. At that time, you can come to the panel. Everybody can just sit and listen. I didn't ask any question. I came out. It was 100% convincing. And at that time, you know, when I'm talking to people, we started and started. Then I saw Comfort doing something online. Comfort was talking about on passive in pigeon and it was like the, the, the pigeon English Cameroon. I called Comfort. I said, Comfort, what are you really doing? He said, Oh, I, I, I saw you online and you're talking about on passive. You're talking about on passive, go founders. And the way you explain certain things, are you really into IT? Because the language that you are using, only IT people can use it. Comfort said, No, I heard people talking about it. And the way they put it, I Googled it myself. So I want to explain it in pigeon. So I started explaining to Comfort what it's all about. Comfort was blown away. He said, Collins, can we do, can we go live? I said, Comfort, I'm not coming live. I'm not that type of person. The only thing I can do is to tell you, and then you can go live and do it. I'm not that type of person who is comfortable going live, doing all of this. Comfort, we can talk behind the scene. Comfort said, no, you have to come with me. He said, there is a, another brother from the U.S. I want him. I said, who is that? He said, Oliver Fontaine. I said, I don't know. He said, they are doing something with Bob Takusi. So the day Comfort said, we were just like hiding behind. It took us one month for us to be convinced. And I believe that was even the worst. If I look at it, I, 
I was really shaking, nervous to even stay there. So we were there, comfort, myself, Oliver, and that life, and um, uh, Dr. Um, Imelda, you know, Dr. Benny's elder sister. We did that that life. We came back, and it was really amazing because people appreciate it. So it makes a couple of days. It's um, sister patient called me. The sister patient at John went from New Jersey. Said the sister said she should contact me about on passing. So he wants she wants to know more. I explained. He said, "Oh, colleagues, now I know what is it because she was also nervous, not really sure." He said, "Oh, I don't want to do it. Call. I'm in, but I don't want to bring people without really knowing the the stuff." what it's all about because the person who brought her is also a non-passive couldn't explain that much so i said sis this could be this will be the biggest it company i've ever seen that's the, the message I, I used i share with others i said don't look at it in face value if you look at what miss ashifra want to do it will be the biggest it company so he said collins don't say it again i'm just going now to share two weeks after she came back to me Say, colleagues, can we start a webinar? I said, ah, uh, Comfort has a group. Comfort already started a group. I said, okay, let's come together. You create, let's put together, and we start. That's where we started the Unpassive family. Then Tony Monk came, Oliver joined us, Tony Monk, Oliver brought Tony Monk, and Madi Digamo, that was the time you came in, Lynn Nakamoto, all of them. No, Lynn was not then Unpassive family at that time. So you saw us and all of the other people who came. We started growing, and then from there, I think that was when we presented the unpassive, the journey, how software is being developed. And you saw, you said, no, I need to do something. At that time, we didn't know. <laughs> we were just trying to explain out of from the box. Then we came in and then give rise to what? To the to heroes. And then the old tech pro started. Mari said, I want you guys to start something. We said, what? You guys should put yourself together and then let's start something big and try to explain this because what you guys are saying, if everybody knows this, it will be great. And at one point we used to say, so I should come live when they had the, you know, the, the leadership council at that time, I should explain most of these things, but our worries behind the scene, like my worries, I was like, I just said this, but there's no one there to explain this because I wish they know this, but you know, as a CEO, he cannot go deep and explain what it means. So it was just like, who can really break this down for others to know? Because I'm really excited sitting there. But when Maddie came and said, do you guys want to do this? If you guys do it, you will fly like a horse. And at that time, we didn't know what Maddie was saying to us. Or you will just flip and fall. We told Maddie, please, can we just go and think about it first? Because we know this is massive. To do this, it means you have to be there 24-7. Let's think about it. So at one point, we accept. Madi, Madi brought in Lean. We gave the name Old Tech Pro. Madi, Madi allowed us to do our thing and said, you just give the name and let's see how it goes. Old Tech Pro came through the instruction of Madi Digamo and Mr. Ash Mufara and said, go ahead and explain that journey. Because at that time, we were talking, when are they going to launch? So I said, no, this is not really easy. It's not when are they going to launch? Do you really understand what they are trying to do? Because you cannot launch where they are still building a product. And you need to know how software is being developed from scratch to the end. And that's what they are doing. So all of those things need to come in place for you to have a, a market, you know, a market value product for you to be able to launch. But how do you do that? And we thought that, all right, if founders can know just high level, not the technicality, they will just stop saying and they will really be fired up when it comes to unpassive. Because that knowledge needs to be there for you to understand it so you know what they are trying to do. Know that it's not one day or a click of a button. It's something that has a defined process for you to get to where you want to go. And that was the journey, you know, up to today. We are just like every day we see on Passive, it's always like growing bigger and bigger. And it proved that maybe I was not wrong to say on Passive will be the massive company, you know, and we start to see all of these structures coming, offices, Bosch Khalifa, train station, products coming out. And I said, yes, this is it. Everything disappeared. All the other things that people were thinking of just started fading away. So I asked myself, for those who joined six years ago, 
you know, if Ms. Ash would have tell you from the beginning, it would take six years to be where we are today. I think a lot of people said, no, I can't stay in. I'm gone. But I thank God that he said, I will give it in the way methodically until we get to this point. And all of us are blown away to see what we are seeing. And the good of Unpassive is about to erupt. So the only thing I always tell a lot of founders, you have hung in there for six years. One month more will not kill you. Two months more, three months, even four months will not kill you. You've been there. If you think of turning your back away, it's like someone who swim a deep river or an ocean and you just get into the shore. You say, no, I want to swim back. You will drown because there is no energy left. The little energy now we have is to just stay put, enjoy this process and just say, you know what? Things are about to happen because nobody will build this company from scratch at one point he said no i want to drop it off it means you are the biggest loser mr ashmore will be the biggest loser to drop everything off putting every structure building everything just that there are a lot of things people don't know that's happened behind the scene i can say it because i have seen it where you work you've seen it for 14 years but there are people who've not been in this particular environment for 14 years nobody will build a company of this magnitude and said bye I'm done. Drop it. Means you've lost tens and tens of millions of dollars, if not hundreds or billions. Throw it away for nothing. It will never happen. So the only thing is believe in Mr. Ash Mofara, believe in the process, trust him that he will deliver this. Because if he can think it, he will do it and we will see it to the end. So I'll leave it there, Maddie. Take, take it over from me. <laughs> Uh, that's exactly how I remember it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, we all grew. We all, um, during this journey, everything has uh, metamorphosed into something bigger, right? I'm past the started off as a caterpillar, now it's turned into a butterfly. So, but even us individually, I've seen so much growth in people. Collins, when I met Collins and the other three guys, what I saw was IT guys knew what they were talking about, probably a hundred years combined, if not more, experience, but they were IT guys. Now, they were IT guys that happened to be founders. Now they are on passive people that happen to be IT. They can talk to you about anything. Collins, the other three, could go to a meeting and talk to you all about on passive without mentioning the fact that they're from they have a background of it that's pretty cool so we all grew we all learn uh i think the biggest thing like Colin says have your ears open look at common sense what i loved about it when when i first met them if everybody remembers three four years ago every day when are we gonna launch when are we gonna launch and and i i didn't know details like I do now. I, I mean, I didn't understand them, but I knew this wasn't going to be quick. I mean, the bigger I saw the dream coming true, the more I knew it would take longer. Because it, you can't, listen, if Ash walked in a room and told five people, I'm going to change your life, that would take a lot of work to change five people's lives. But to walk into a room and tell thousands of people, the potential here is for all of you to change your life forever. That's massive. If we think that's going to happen in a year or two years, you're crazy. The beauty of, of Ash is he wants the best, whatever it costs. He wants to help everybody succeed and so that they can in turn bless other people at any cost. At any cost he doesn't look at the money first he looks at what do we need what do people need and we're going to give it to them and we're going to give it to them on a silver platter above market value everything about on passive including the founders are above market value these are some of the best people in the world with the best products in the world following a, a, a ceo is the best ceo in the world i've met thousands of people when I worked regular, I, I traveled all over the world. I met CEOs, I met uh, shareholders, I met 
I mean, every inventors I met, we were in making copper foil. I met metallurgists. I met scientists. And I've never met all of those qualities in one person. Good hearted, wants to give, has the resources, smart as hell. I, it, all that together is very, 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 it's a unicorn. Ash is a unicorn. <laughs> no, but he is, he just, and his family is. And to sacrifice, and I mean sacrifice. The sacrifice Ash is going to is not just money. His, his whole life and his family's life is geared towards unpassing. It has to be. He works around the clock, so... Collins, I want to thank you. It was amazing. I knew it would be anyway. Um, a lot of people here. It was over 450 people. Uh, you're getting them numbers like as we were on numbers. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I mean, me and Chris get a couple hundred. I'm just kidding. Is Chris, not, oh, Chris is here too. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, Chris, you know, you've had enough vacation. It's time to come back. Uh, tonight is Ron at... 8.30, as you can hear my bird, he doesn't like it when I'm on a live. Uh, so if you guys want to go there, it'd be cool. I believe even the O-Tech guys might be there tonight. So Collins, I want to recommend something to you. Take a little nap beforehand. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Hey, you never know. Ash might show up. You never know. I know he feels comfortable there, and we usually have a good time. Anyway. See you all. Thank you so much for being here. 31 minutes. Boom. I try to keep it at 30 minutes if we can. I love you all. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, lift each other up above yourselves. And tomorrow, like I said, Dan Street will be on. We're going to shine the light on Mr. Street. And we're going to move on from there. Collins, thank you, buddy, for being who you are. Thanks for being one of my brothers here and I'm passive. You made my life much easier for sure and on passive uh some days can get rough but when you work together it, it, it works out much better anyway thank you everybody and i'll see you